Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a simple code lock feature for your 2D game, for some kind of room escape game, for example, or any other quest. Let's see what do we have in this scene. We have a couple of grass game objects with colliders for character to walk on. Then here is a character with rigid body 2D component, circle collider component and cat script with some game objects assigned. Also here is a safe empty game object with box collider, which is a trigger. Safe has two children, which are closed safe and open safe. Closed safe will be disabled through the script, revealing open safe game object. Also, here is an old game object that shows us correct code to open the safe. Last game object here is a canvas. Inside this canvas, UI panel is created, which in its turn has UI text component that shows us the code we're typing in and nine buttons to enter that code. Okay. Let's take a look at cat script attached to cat. First here we have rigid body, move speed and direction x variables that help our cat to walk. Then we have code panel, closed safe and open safe references which we assign an inspector to control those game objects. And here is is safe opened variable which is accessible from another script. In start method we get rigid body component, disable code panel, enabled closed safe and disable open safe game objects. In update method we set direction x variable according to which arrow button is pressed. Then we check if is safe opened is true and if it is, then we turn code panel off, disable closed safe and enable open safe game objects. In fixed update method our cat is moved by passing a velocity to each rigid body component. In on trigger enter to the method we turn code panel on if cat collides with safe and if safe is not opened yet. And in on trigger exit to the method, we turn code panel off if cat doesn't collide with safe anymore. Code panel script is pretty simple. Here we have code text reference, which is assigned in inspector. In update method, we display the text value, setting it as code text. Then we check if we typed correct code, and if we did, then we set is safe open variable as true. Then if we type wrong digits four times, then we reset code text value and can try again. Add digit method is invoked by clicking UI buttons. Each button passes its own digit value to this method, which is added to code text value. That's the script. So when cat script attached to cat, code panel is dragged and dropped to its slot. Same was done for closed safe and for open safe game objects. In code panel script, code text is dragged and dropped into its slot. Like that. Each button has on click function. Code panel game object dragged and dropped into object slot and then add digit method is selected from code panel script. As I said before, each button passes its own value to this method. So button 1 passes 1, button 2 passes 2, button 3 passes 3 and so on. That's it. Now let's hit play and see how it works. Code panel is disabled at the start, cat can walk left and right and if cat collides with safe, then code panel appears when we can enter the code. If code is incorrect, then code text is reset and we can try again. But once we enter correct one, then code panel disappears and safe opens. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.